Well, everyone, I saw another musical. That's right, another play. And I've talked about them, the last few ones I've seen on this channel, and those videos have actually gotten, like, you know, a solid amount of views for what I consider solid on this channel, which is, like, you know, two, three hundred views. So, you know, why not? I'm gonna keep talking about them. Oh, hopefully people keep watching them. That is correct. I saw... Hades Town! Wow! I knew nothing about this musical. I didn't even know it existed until Jordan Fisher started popping up on my face like political ads on my TV the last few days because I'm in America and the stupid election. Every commercials. Did you know, you know, Bob, Bob Chapone just, did you, did you know he ran over a kid and now he wants to be senator? What the hell? But I did see uh, Hades Town and. I enjoyed it. I knew nothing about the story. It follows Orpheus and Eurydice. It's kind of a Greek mythology story without Percy Jackson, without Kratos. And, you know, first of all, I will say taking a Greek mythology story in this setting, like it a lot. It's really cool. And I think that there is no issue with like getting creative. Not everything has to be all like magical, you know? We can make it more human. We can make it more soulful and just interpersonal the way that it is and i really like that here the way that all of the jazz music is implemented into this really enjoy that part of it they have like the live musicians there playing the music it's great dude it's a great vibe this was a little different for me i will admit from different ones i've seen in the past the last one i saw was beetlejuice that one i knew some of the songs going in a lot of the best bangers you know so i was really excited for that this one i knew none of the songs going in and so I didn't have that experience of like comparing it to the cast album. I've since listened to the cast album and I have some thoughts. The music here, again, this is just me on a one watch. So I can't really critique this too well. I'm not a reviewer of plays, even though it's exactly what I'm doing right now. I think the music is a lot better performed than it is to listen to. You know, you can take a musical like a Hamilton jam out, you know, and listen to that song. You know, when you're in the car, you know, you're blasting a freaking Hamilton Thomas Jefferson rap battle I can get down with that some of these ones again it's really good music I just think it was better performed this could be the fact that I saw it performed first and now I lack that visual kind of that more emotional context when I listened to the cast album the way that I experienced it the first time but I just wanted to touch on that like I said though all the songs are good you know the standout hit here is wait for me that's kind of like the one that the show is kind of like the most proud of that's like the biggest song from the play and the reprise dude the reprise goes crazy Orpheus falls in love with uh, Eurydice and then she gets jacked off Ooh, she does not get Ooh, she gets uh, stolen away to uh, Hades to hell to the underworld and now he's trying to get her back and he's gonna sing uh he's gonna sing a song so pretty that Hades it's gonna knock his pants off and Hades will have no choice but to return his lady to the upper world can I speak English why am I so difficult speaking why am I so difficult why am I so bad dude what the hell and it's a sad song it is a sad song uh, it's a sad play uh, but also it's very hopeful okay I'm gonna get into a little spoilers now talking about the ending uh, before I get into spoilers if you just want my thoughts I'd say to go check it out I'd say to go see it it's uh, if you're into musicals I like it I don't think it's a uh, it's gonna convert you, you know, if you hate musicals, but if you do enjoy them, I think it's worth seeing. Also, real quick, before I get into spoilers, let me give a few cast shout outs, because the cast I had was really good. Brian, Brian Munar, uh, dude, he was super good. He was so good as Orpheus. Holy crap. Megan Colton also as Eurydice. Those are the two, the two main ones, which is good, you know, when the two main characters are like the best in the cast. Holy crap, they were great. Okay, obviously he killed weight for me. When, when she jumps in at the end, reprise. Ah, oh, dude, it was great. It was fantastic, dude. I know this is gonna end bad, but still. Okay, spoilers now, spoilers now. I know how this was gonna end for the most part because I remember the actual Greek tragedy of it all. And it's crazy because the whole entire musical, the whole entire play is ten leaning towards hopeful. It's leaning towards this is gonna work out, right? That's how you kind of think it's going to, but then obviously it doesn't. Pretty much Orpheus is given this a uh, task at the end. Hades says, okay, I'll let her leave, but she has to follow behind you out of hell. And if you turn around to make sure she's still there, you're cooked. She has to come back and yeah, you're effed. They go on the walk and very similar to how it happens in the actual mythology, he turns around, sucks to suck, she gets kicked back to hell. 
and that's how it ends. And then it gets really meta, and it kind of has this revelation that, you know, they've been telling the story over and over again. The whole kind of thing starts back over from the beginning, you know, from ground one, like they're going to tell it again. And there is kind of a semi more hopeful note, you could say, because uh, Persephone, who brings spring, she comes early at the, at the next time they're gonna tell the story, kind of leaning towards, you know, maybe there's a chance this big storm that, you know, really wiped out Eurydice's like hope and all that stuff. Maybe that won't happen, so then maybe she won't go to hell. It'll all work out this time. But I don't think that's important. I don't think it's important to focus on, you know, what exactly happens to Orpheus after the whole uh, thing goes down. I think what's important is to focus on why they restart the play, why they start telling it again. And the first time I was listening to it and I was listening to, you know, Wait For Me, especially the reprise, this big hopeful number, you're like, okay, dude, like this is like, let's do this, dude. You're getting so hyped for these two. And even I was like, okay, maybe they're going to pull this off because it's such a hopeful number and then it goes bad. So then I was like, that's kind of stupid. That kind of sucks. It kind of ruined that song, but I think that's kind of like a, uh, Missing the point, one of the big lines that the narrator Hermes says at the end, we're gonna keep telling it, we're gonna keep being hopeful, despite it being a sad story, we're gonna tell it as if it's gonna work out next time. And I, I, I like that. It's a good kind of take on, you know, things going bad in the end, things going bad in life. That is a unavoidable truth. And we have to still being hopeful, despite bad stuff going down down the line and you know because we know that no matter how many times Orpheus turns around and gets cooked by Hades he's gonna keep making that attempt he's gonna keep chasing after her kind of caught in this like forever time loop of like hope and love and it's kind of nice I kind of like that I feel like I did a horrible job of explaining that but uh, yeah, I don't know. It's really up to your interpretation, the ending. If you really want it to be hopeful, like I said, lean into that Persephone. She comes early, and now spring, and now the storm won't come, and things are working out. Really lean into that. The set itself was kind of minimal. I've seen the Broadway one is a lot bigger. This was just the national touring group, so it's a little smaller. They don't have the cool spinning circle thing that I've seen. So that kind of sucks, but still. Give me another play to watch, and I'll check it out in the future when it comes to my area. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.